I did not mean to turn that on. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see her. There must be something. Hey guys, good morning. It is a Wednesday before work and what better time to film whenever you have no time to film. So welcome back to my channel. If you're not following me, like and subscribe. I post every single week lifestyle content, travel content, and tips. So let's get into today's video. A lot of you guys have been asking me about how Hawaii was, was traveling safe during COVID. So I wanted to give you my insight of what I did before, what happened whenever I got there, and everything else like that. One, I would have loved to have been fully vaccinated before I got there, but sadly I was not. I only had one vaccine. I'm officially vaccinated now. I did have side effects a little bit on the second one, but that is, I can only imagine actually having COVID, so it's all good. That being said, go ahead and get vaccinated if you can. Love you all. So before I got there, I had to have a negative COVID test within 75 hours, and it had to be an NAAT. Now, I know now that the NAAT is a brand, like a, that's a type of COVID test, okay? But see, I was told that that was like a COVID test, not like a huge, like there, there's three that could count as an NAAT, but I thought the NAAT was a certain one. So I called Walgreens and they were like, sorry, we don't have the NAAT. We only have the P something and the rapid. I was like, okay, well it says on Hawaiian Airlines that they won't take that. So I ended up having to pay $140 at CVS to get my COVID test. So that was the first annoying thing. Um, two, I had to go to the drive-thru and do it myself. The lady kind of coached me through, but me personally, like, I don't know. I've had, I've been COVID tested twice now, and the first time, like, he went all the way back there. You're not going to be able to do that to yourself. Like, that just, I don't know many people that can do that to themselves. I went far enough back, and I really did, but it was so uncomfortable. And then I put it back in the bag, and you have to sanitize the bag afterwards, put it in a mailbox, then I left. Then, right before I left, I got my results probably two days later. Um, and then you had to put them on your safe travels portal, which is a Hawaiian website that you have to do before you leave. So it's called safe travels. You have to say where you're staying, your name, who you're going with, your dates, your flight information, everything like that. Then you have to upload your negative COVID results on there. Then you have to take a survey asking if you've been flu vaccinated, like all this kind of stuff. And you have to check in every single day on your safe travels app. Now, I only did it twice while I was there, so I will tell you they're not really strict about checking it every day, but before I went there, they said they were going to be. So then right before I left, figured out that all my friends got, the, oh, it's a PCR. All my friends got the PCR or the rapid, and I was like, guys, I don't think that counts, but figures out that it was under the NAAT, whatever, and so I could have got it free at Walgreens if the lady at Walgreens wouldn't have told me that they didn't have it. So that really hurt. So then I get over there, plane was normal, um, a lady sat by me, but she was like, I'm gonna go ahead and leave so you can have more space. She found another seat. The plane was really, really small, whether that's because nobody was traveling or they did that on purpose, I don't know. Uh, so then we got there. Now, as far as restrictions whenever we got there, everyone had a mask on. You could tell if people were from Hawaii if they had a mask on, honestly. Um, every business, you could not go in without a mask. I went to a gas station, ABC stores, which on every corner they were. Um, but I went to an ABC store couldn't get in without a mask had to buy a mask at the front door stand outside put it on because i forgot it at the beach you know because you're outside sometimes it's kind of hard to remember i did buy one but another guy came in and she was like you need a mask before talking to me and he rolled his eyes and left so they were very adamant on it two every place that you ate every place that you went inside you had to put down your name and where you were staying because oh and your phone number your name or you're saying in your phone number because if somebody there got covid they would call you vice versa if you got covid they would have tracking of where you were staying just to make sure that they could catch the pieces which i thought was really smart to be honest i have not seen anyone do that it was a little bit annoying because every place you had to like write everything out and we were like who wants to go next like nobody wanted to do it but i understand why but besides that honestly like everything else was normal to like where i'm at right now um in the states so I personally think that it was very smart. They really cared. Um, and then, you know, obviously precautionary, they would sanitize everything. Um, if there was long lines, it was because of capacity or sanitizing, like they were in the process of doing everything. They wouldn't rush it. Like if there was 
only a certain amount of tables that was fine um they had just opened up two weeks ago so a lot of restaurants had deals um i know our favorite one cheeseburger in paradise they had deals they had five dollar mai tais and they the hawaiian tourism they were so excited to have people back they were like making sure that they didn't have too many tables and that they didn't overseat slash uh, under seat like they're making sure that they've stayed by the rules exactly so they didn't get shut down again so like you could just tell that you were making them happy by just being there so my best advice is if you do go there respect the culture respect that they just opened up this isn't florida you can't just be dumb um i think that they are i think it's very smart that they're tracking where you are um and Besides that, like the travel aspect of it, it's just like traveling on any plane, you know, be careful. You only can obviously take off your mask whenever you're eating or drinking and everyone on the plane had a mask and was very adamant on making sure that you kept yours on. So I personally felt safe. If you're wanting to go to Hawaii, make sure that you look up all those rules before. And as in general, any single travel, be safe, respect where you are, wear a mask. And honestly, the negative COVID test made me feel like, okay, I know I'm safe. Like it really was a kind of like, okay, I'm gonna be okay because I know I don't have COVID. You know, any other time that I've traveled like back home, I haven't done that. So I've just been super careful, worn two masks, had a, I've worn goggles before, but I will say that this is probably the most safe I've felt traveling. So go ahead and get out there. Hawaii travel is back. Just make sure that you respect the culture and where you are. So hope you like this video. If you guys want any more travel tips, like how I pack everything in one bag with not being able to have to pay for an extra baggage. I love doing that. I'm very cheap. Um, any kind of travel tips in general, like how to travel safely other places. Um, I will make those videos. Just comment below and you know, know I'm here to make you guys happy so like subscribe it'll make me happy and I will see you guys next week bye